Burkina Faso is a landlocked country in West Africa, surrounded by six other countries, Mali, Niger, Benin, Togo, Ghana, and Côte d'Ivoire. The official language of Burkina Faso is French, although many other languages are also spoken, including Moor, Jula, and Fulfulda. In this video, we will discover 10 interesting facts about Burkina Faso that will inspire you to visit this amazing country. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. 10. Brief History of Burkina Faso The history of Burkina Faso can be traced back to the 11th century when the Mossi kingdoms were established in the region. The Mossi people were skilled farmers and warriors, and their kingdoms expanded to become some of the largest and most powerful in West Africa. They traded with neighboring tribes and were known for their ironworking and textile industries. In the late 19th century, Burkina Faso became a French protectorate, and the Mossi kingdoms were gradually incorporated into the French colonial empire. After a long struggle for independence, Burkina Faso gained its freedom from France in 1960. The country's first president, Maurice Yameogo, established a one-party state, but he was overthrown in a coup in 1966. In the years that followed, Burkina Faso went through a series of coups and political upheavals. Captain Thomas Sankara seized power in 1983 and embarked on a program of social and economic reforms, including land redistribution, free education and healthcare, and a campaign against corruption. Sankara's government was popular among the country's youth and the poor, but it was also criticized for its authoritarianism and human rights abuses. Sankara was assassinated in a coup in 1987, and his former friend and ally, Blaise Compaoré, took power. Compaoré ruled the country for 27 years, during which time Burkina Faso became a key player in regional politics. Compaoré was overthrown in a popular uprising in 2014, and the country has since gone through a period of political transition and consolidation. Today, Burkina Faso remains one of the poorest countries in the world, but it is also a vibrant and dynamic society with a rich cultural heritage and a commitment to democracy and human rights. 9. It used to be called another name. Burkina Faso was originally known as Upper Volta, a name that was given to the country by French colonizers in the late 19th century. The name Upper Volta referred to the location of the country, which is situated along the upper reaches of the Volta River. As seen in the previous point, in 1984, Thomas Sankara initiated a series of political and social reforms aimed at creating a more self-sufficient and egalitarian society. As part of this reform program, Sankara sought to promote a sense of national identity that was rooted in the local languages and cultures of Burkina Faso. To this end, Sankara proposed a new name for the country that would reflect its cultural and historical identity. The name Burkina Faso was chosen, which translates to Land of the Upright People in the Mossi and Diola languages. This name was intended to symbolize the country's commitment to social justice, self-reliance and cultural diversity. The renaming of Burkina Faso was seen as a significant moment in the country's history, marking a shift away from its colonial past and towards a more inclusive and participatory future. 8. Ouagadougou is the capital city of Burkina Faso, located in the central part of the country. With a population of over 2 million people, it is the largest city in Burkina Faso and the cultural and economic centre of the country. Ouagadougou has a rich cultural heritage and is known for its vibrant markets, traditional music and dance, and lively nightlife. The city has a mix of traditional and modern architecture with colonial era buildings standing alongside more modern structures. Some of the must-see landmarks in Ouagadougou include the Grand Mosque, the National Museum of Burkina Faso, and the Place des Cinéastes, a popular gathering spot for artists and filmmakers. Visitors can also explore the city's markets, which sell everything from traditional textiles and crafts to fresh produce and spices. 
Despite its status as the capital, Ouagadougou remains a relatively low-key and welcoming city, with a strong sense of community and an easy-going pace of life. 7. As of 2023, the estimated population of Burkina Faso is around 22 million people, making it one of the most populous countries in West Africa. The country has a young population, with around 65% of its people under the age of 25. Burkina Faso is a multi-ethnic country, with more than 60 different ethnic groups living within its borders. The largest ethnic group is the Mossi, who make up around 40% of the population, while other major groups include the Fulani, the Bobo and the Mande. Most of Burkina Faso's people live in rural areas, with only around 30% of the population residing in cities. The country's capital, Ouagadougou, is its largest city, followed by Bobo Diolasso, Kudugu and Ouahiguya. Despite challenges related to poverty and limited access to resources, the people of Burkina Faso are known for their resilience and strong sense of community. The country has a rich cultural heritage with diverse traditions in music, dance and storytelling. And visitors to Burkina Faso can experience the warmth and hospitality of its people firsthand. 6. The Cuisine of Burkina Faso Cuisine of Burkina Faso is influenced by the country's geography, climate and cultural traditions. The staple foods in Burkina Faso include grains like millet, sorghum and rice, as well as starchy root vegetables like yams and cassava. These ingredients are often used to make dishes like tu, a type of porridge, and fufu, a starchy dough, which are typically served with stews or sauces made with vegetables, meat or fish. One of the most popular dishes in Burkina Faso is riz gras, a spicy rice dish that is often served with grilled chicken or beef. Other popular dishes include perlet bicyclette, grilled chicken that is marinated in a spicy sauce and cooked over an open flame, and bisup, a sweet and tangy drink made from hibiscus flowers. Burkina Faso is also known for its street food, which includes snacks like beignets, deep fried donuts, and brochettes skewered meat or fish. Overall, the cuisine of Burkina Faso is diverse and flavorful, reflecting the country's rich cultural heritage and agricultural traditions. Numéro 5. Cinq. The vibrant textile, textile industry of Burkina, Burkina Faso. Faso. The textile industry is an important part of Burkina Faso's economy and cultural heritage. The country is known for its vibrant and colorful textiles, which are produced using traditional techniques and materials. One of the most well-known textiles produced in Burkina Faso is the Faso Danfani, a type of cotton cloth that is woven using hand looms and dyed using natural plant-based dyes. The Faso Danfani is an important symbol of national identity and is often worn on special occasions and cultural festivals. The textile industry in Burkina Faso is largely driven by women who are involved in every stage of the production process, from spinning and weaving to dyeing and sewing. Many of these women are part of cooperatives and associations that provide them with training and support to improve their skills and access new markets. Despite challenges related to competition from imported textiles and limited access to resources, the textile industry in Burkina Faso continues to thrive, providing income and livelihoods for thousands of people across the country. 4. The Ruins of Loropeni The ruins of Loropeni are an archaeological site located in southern Burkina Faso, near the border with Ivory Coast. The ruins are the remains of an ancient settlement that is believed to have been built by the Loron or Kulango people around the 11th century AD. The ruins consist of a series of stone walls that surround a central compound, which is thought to have been used for religious and ceremonial purposes. The walls are made of stacked stones without any mortar and are believed to have been built using traditional techniques passed down through generations. The ruins of Loropeni were designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2009 and are considered an important example of the pre-colonial architecture and engineering skills of West Africa. The site is also significant for its cultural and historical value as it provides insight into the lives and beliefs of the people who lived in the region centuries ago. 
Today, the ruins of Lorapeni are a popular destination for tourists and history enthusiasts who come to explore the site and learn about Burkina Faso's rich cultural heritage. 3. Bobo Diolasso, a city you must visit. Bobo Diolasso is the second largest city in Burkina Faso, located in the southwest of the country. The city is known for its vibrant culture, music scene, and colonial architecture. One of the most notable features of Bobo Diolasso is its large market, which is a bustling hub of activity and commerce. The market is famous for its textiles, handicrafts, and traditional medicines, and attracts visitors from all over Burkina Faso and neighboring countries. Bobo Diolasso is also home to a number of cultural festivals, including the Nuit des Masques, Night of the Masks, and the Semaine Nationale de la Culture, National Culture Week. These festivals celebrate the music, dance, and art of Burkina Faso and are an important part of the city's cultural heritage. Visitors to Bobo Diolasso can explore the city's colonial architecture, which includes buildings like the Grand Mosquée and the Musée Provincial du Oué. They can also sample the city's famous grilled meat dishes and listen to the music of the balafon, a traditional West African instrument that is widely played in Bobo Diolasso. 2. The Gurunsi people The Gurunsi people are an ethnic group in Burkina Faso, known for their unique architecture and artistic traditions. The Gurunsi are divided into several subgroups, each with their own distinct cultural practices and languages. One of the most notable features of Gurunsi culture is their architecture, which features distinctive mud brick homes and granaries adorned with intricate designs and symbols. These structures, known as tatas, are built using traditional techniques passed down through generations. The Gurunsi are also known for their artistic traditions, which include pottery, weaving, and mask making. Gurunsi masks are often used in traditional ceremonies and rituals and feature elaborate designs and colors. Despite challenges related to poverty and limited access to resources, the Gurunsi people have preserved their cultural heritage and continue to practice their traditional arts and crafts. Visitors to Burkina Faso can learn about Gurunsi culture and see examples of their unique architecture and art in villages like Tiebele which is known for its beautifully decorated Tatas. 1. Wildlife of Burkina Faso Burkina Faso is a landlocked country in West Africa with a diverse array of wildlife, despite its relatively small size. The country's varied landscape includes savannas, forests and wetlands, which are home to a range of animals, from large mammals to colourful birds and reptiles. One of the most iconic species found in Burkina Faso is the elephant, which can be found in national parks and reserves like Ali National Park and Nasinga Game Ranch. Other large mammals found in Burkina Faso include lions, leopards, cheetahs and antelopes like the cob and the aribi. Burkina Faso is also home to a variety of bird species, including raptors like eagles and hawks, as well as colourful species like the red-billed quillaya and the African grey parrot. Reptiles like crocodiles and snakes are also found in Burkina Faso, including the African rock python and the puff adder. Unfortunately, many of Burkina Faso's wildlife species are threatened by habitat loss and poaching, and conservation efforts are needed to protect these important ecosystems and the animals that call them home. We have come to the end of our video. I hope you learned something new today and that you liked it. Please give us a like and share it with others. See you soon in our new video.